Who's there? I'm Su Ching He, the records department attendant and the private tutor of the Crown Prince. Oh, Master Su, I see. Why are you strolling around in the rear courtyard in the middle of the night? How did you get so badly injured? My wound's not serious. It just looks awful. Elder brother, please lend me a lantern, and I will go back to the hall on my own. That won't do. Why don't we escort you, master? Oh, no, don't tell me I bumped into assassins sent by Feng Chui. Help. Let's end it here in case there are any repercussions. Hold him tight and don't let him scream. I'm really going to get a restart this time. But I don't even know if it will give me another rebirth. Will I still be in this era? Will I still meet the people I know? And after I die tragically, will they mourn me? Ah. Ah, How are you doing? Prince of you? Where are your wounds? Stop the bleeding first. Left arm and my right leg. Give me your hand. It's just some flesh wounds. A bit of golden sore ointment will do. Take off your pants. I said it's just a flesh wound. Thank you for saving me, your highness. Was your with me tonight an accident or a precaution? I already planned to come to the southern courtyard tonight, but along the way, I ran into an embroidered uniform guard who pretended to have an alarmed horse to pass me a message. When I saw the situation was urgent, I rushed to the rescue. Luckily, I arrived in time. An embroidered uniform guard? Could it be Shin Kip? Feng Chui temporarily transferred me back to the Northern Provincial Prison and sent Fan Tongxian to assassinate the prince's private tutor. Su Yan's life is at stake. And I can no longer serve as an escort under such circumstances. I plead your majesty to send some men over to the southern courtyard as soon as possible. It's a direct letter to the emperor. This private letter is short, but it gives off a great deal of information. A mere general like Shin Chi could directly send a private letter to the emperor? When was this connection established? Come to think of it, there's only one possibility. Shin Chi had been under Feng Kei for 10 years, but he was never really loyal. He could have gotten a hold of his opponent's faults. Perhaps after the murder of Yi Dong Lu, Shin Chi decided to betray Feng Chui. So he took the risk of privately seeing the emperor and presented evidence of Feng Kei's crime. Maybe the emperor had already been eyeing Feng Chui, but Shin Chi's move gave him the perfect opportunity. Later, by the Emperor's suggestion and arrangement, I became an investigator to infiltrate the southern courtyard. In fact, the Emperor didn't leave me hanging in danger. Instead, he asked Shin Chi to sneak into the southern courtyard and protect my personal safety. But being a double agent isn't that easy.
On one hand, he had to deal with Feng Chui, and on the other hand, he also had to ensure that his contact with the Emperor wasn't leaked. It's like walking on a tightrope. Tonight, Shen Qi handed this private letter to the Prince of Yu, but if the Prince had other things on his mind, Shen Qi would no doubt die. General Shen was betting on his life that the Prince of Yu wasn't only interested in harassing me. Are you not well? And that there was still some sincerity within. The Prince of Yu indeed didn't let down Shen Qi who entrusted him with his life. Only now do I realize such intricacies. We need to take care of your injuries. I'll escort you back to your chambers. And immediately send for an imperial physician to treat you. Wait a minute. Let me think. I keep feeling that I've left something important out. I'm here. What are you worried about? <laughs>